G'day campers, Brent from Outback Equipment here. Today we're joined by Doug from Tonic. How you going mate? Good mate, good to meet you. That's I'm glad way. to be here today to show you all about the Tonic range. No worries at all. Okay, so laid out here, what have we got Doug? Well we bought in the range today just to show you a little bit more about the branding of Tonic Eyewear and the technology behind it. All right, so straight out of the box, what have we got Doug? We've got a pair of uh, Outbacks in here. Sunglasses, yep. Outbacks. The, uh, this is one of our top sellers actually, a beautiful pair, well balanced. With every purchase comes a cleaning cloth and bag inclusive in one. So this is your actual cleaning cloth and a bag that you can keep soft case in the console if you don't use the hard case. Also comes with your warranty card, the Tonic warranty card, which is two years warranty you get with every pair of Tonics. We also have an accessory, which is a floating cord this is an accessory you can purchase. We care enough to give you a floating cord so when you drop your glasses overboard into the water, they'll actually float. Okay, <laughs> so we'll start off with uh, the ladies. This is an injection molded ladies frame. This is our cove and it's an eight base or wrap around pair of sunglasses. So what we've done here, we've made this uh, very soft here because most women are very soft or, or tender mastoid bone app behind their ear. And what happens is that we've made that quite soft so as it doesn't uh, give any stress or anything when putting on or applying around the back of the head. Okay, so that's really important there for the ladies. And we have two colours in that. So we have the tortoise shell and we also have the, the uh, glossy black. Then we go on to the new Flemington, which is uh, quite a sexy pair of sunglasses. And uh, these are all handmade from acetate. Uh, start off with a flat sheet, they're tumbled for three days. Uh, barreled and they're very nice and very comfortable and very easy to wear. So this has got wire core down the down the temples or the arms and they're quite easy to adjust. You can just bend them in and or bend them out to make them fit really well. Then we go on to uh, the men's range. Uh, we have some unique things about some of our frames as well here and we specifically design these lenses for different people or the frames for different people. So this frame here is our Evo, and it's got quite a large bridge. So if you've got quite a large bridge up here, this here will fit somebody with a, quite a wide bridge nose yep. for their nose. Yep. Many times some people struggle. What happens is if they've got a thinner bridge like this in their nose, and they, and they put them on, they will be looking beneath their glasses. So this pair here, we select for those people with a wide okay. bridge to yep. fit them. So that's really important. So we do different sizes as well. So yeah. So obviously sizes would play a big part in terms of picking what kind of glasses you want to wear. Absolutely. You know, um, normally I could talk to somebody about their size and uh, their weight and so forth, and pretty much diagnose what frames fit them. Yep. I've got quite a large noodle. What kind of glasses would you suggest for me to wear? I probably. I would probably try definitely. There we go. This is our tracker. Try yep. that one. A little bit, uh, still a little bit tight, but I reckon that'd wear in over time. I that feel. will definitely stretch around your yep. head there. Yep. There's but no yeah. doubt about that. Well, right? once again, I've got a massive head, so you know, it's it, we, we're used to it. But and it fits <laughs> you really well. Like it gives you good coverage. It's yep. nice and tight. It's not going to yep. go anywhere. They're nice and light too. Yeah. Um, I know other sunglasses I have worn are, are quite heavy on the yeah. front. You know, yeah. like they, as you lean forward, they kind of want to tip up and fall off your face, kind of thing. So okay. I've, I've noticed these ones here, Doug. Um, they look like they've got a slightly different frame to everything else on the table. You want to run us through? That? Sure. This this frame here is a uh, everything here is manufactured in Japan. All yep. Japanese lenses, yep. also Japanese frames. So this is our metal frame, our new metal frame. It's got spring hinges. We use silicon pads so they certainly don't slip off your face. Yep. And they're fully adjustable so you can bend them in, bend them out, depending on how wide your bridge is on your nose. Yep. Yep. It's really important. This is a wrap around frame to reduce any you know, bounce back so they really fit you well. Try yep. those on yeah. Give these ones a go. Oh yeah. They definitely, uh, they definitely feel different to the uh, like the plastic. Completely different. Number yep. one, you've got nose bridges. Yep, yeah. It's yep. not a fixed bridge. It's a yeah. And he looks sexy too. <laughs> I, like, I, 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 I feel sexy. I feel yeah, sexy. You should. All right. So we've gone over the frames and the designs behind that. But you know, the most important part of a good pair of sunglasses is obviously the lens. Do you want to run us through the, the lenses of these guys? Sure, sure. It's really important, uh, you know, when when I started to redesign lenses and do everything with these lenses, I wanted to come out into the marketplace to be very different and quite different than anybody else in the marketplace. Yeah. So a lot of research and development over 14 months went into these. Uh, quite a bit of time in and out Japan, working with some of the best 
best mathematicians, uh, optical mathematicians uh, in the world. So and I've worked with them for 30 years now, so these guys really know what they're doing. So I wanted something unique. So what we've done is we've designed a lens that is thinner, clearer, than anything else on the marketplace yep. at the moment. That was my whole game plan with here because I didn't want anybody to come in and think that I've, you know, rebadged a, a product or whatever. So I wanted something unique. This lens here, compared to anything else in the market, is 1.7 mil thin. Yeah, right. So they're really light as glass. It's all crown corning glass. So some, some of the best optical uh, glass that you can get. We also use a nanofilm. So nanofilm, there's a, an average film on the market's worth about 36 grand. This is worth $80,000 a roll. So this is very, yep. this is the thinnest and clearest film on the world market today. So I've designed all these colours myself. These are also decentered. So the reason we decenter them, as you can see, a curve, curved in that. So what happens is that um, if you drew a perfectly round circle and put your finger in the middle, you would expect that to be the middle. But we've decentered these lenses so they there. So when they wrap around your head, yep. basically, yeah, yeah. So basically, if we would wrap these around your head, so you're looking. If this was flat, we were looking straight ahead. Yep. That's okay because we can see perfectly on yep. the flat. Yep. But when we wrap them around here, curve yep. them, yep. we're looking at the side of our head like a lizard. So you'll never see the true depth or the true distance. Okay. Yep. You could also lose your footing a little bit. So this is why we make these optically correct and optically perfect. Yep. So when, when we put, curve these, these are five mil from the data ball from the center. We've moved that there so you could see a different realignment of yep. optics. Okay. Uh, then we've gone to the extra length again and then we've anti-reflective coating on the back surface. So you know, any light coming in the back here or on the top of your glasses, it will not reflect back. It, it'll absorb 35% of uh, back surface reflection, reduce that back into your eye. Okay, so you won't be able to like see your own eyes in the lens Correct. or anything like a that? Correct. A lot of people, yeah. you are right, but yeah. a lot of people see that reflection when they've got a pair of glasses on, they can actually see the dot. Yeah, right. Yeah. Their pupil. Yep. reflecting off the lens. Yeah, that's crazy. In terms of like um, like glare on the water and stuff like that as well, obviously your, your different films and stuff would play part with that. Yep. Um, say someone, you know, weekend warriors going out fishing, you know, what kind of film would you suggest? Well, it depends. Um, there's a lot of things here. So we, we do two, three and four colour integrated filters in yep. our lenses. Yep. That's quite unique. This is a photochromic lens. So what happens is that when you go outside, the lens will go dark. Okay. Yep. You come back in here and it'll come back. It takes 30 seconds to come back, but three seconds to activate to go dark. Okay. Yeah. So it's it'll it'll sort of semi-coordinate with your pupil dilation. Okay. Yep. As your pupils adjust all the time like that, this will adjust a little bit slower because yep. it is a polarizing lens and it's a UV activated lens. Okay. So it's not something you'd you'd want to go welding with. It's certainly not. <laughs> you need a shade eleven for that. Yeah. Um, but but very, very user-friendly lens if you want to if you're driving a car all day long or, or fishing all day long from dawn to dusk yep. this will work for you so if you're walking up a river um, and it was trees sun trees sun this would be going light dark light dark unbeknownst to you yep. it will be changing constantly yep. as yep. you're walking the flats okay yeah okay so um, that's the type of lens that is all right, so to give everyone an idea of what it actually looks like to look through that lens right now, what we're going to do is we're going to pass it to our camera person and uh, they'll be able to show you. What bam. So under studio lights, it's not going to yes. show exactly what no. you'll see outside in the sun, but it gives you a rough idea of what you'll be looking through. It's, going to, it's a high contrast lens, high definition and high contrast lens. Probably one of the best driving lenses you'll ever get, seriously. It's, uh, you know, driving the rain with them, they're incredible. And a photochromic grey lens. Yep. Okay, so this is a photochromic, so we do two colours. We do a photochromic grey and a photochromic copper lens. The grey lens is a beautiful lens to look through. It's it's a two colour integrated filter system in it, so it doesn't just, it's not like a normal grey where it will flatten colours out. This will give you a little bit of definition in it because we run two colours in that lens. It's quite a, it's a beautiful lens to wear and you can wear that if somebody prefers, rather than having a copper lens, yep. and they prefer to have a grey, that is a sensational grey to drive a vehicle with all day. And again, you'll be able to see through every car window, read the traffic and see what's going on in front of you. Yeah. Yep. Not only that, they're great fishing glasses, uh, they're sunglasses at the end of the day, but the lenses in these are quite unique. Yep, yep, cool. Okay, apart from the photochromic copper, 
we've got a lens called Neon. It's a unique lens, one of a kind in the world. Nobody else has got anything like this. Okay, this is our Neon lens. It's, it allows in, most of these photochromic lenses let in between 16 and 14% of light. This lets in 33% light. If you fish early in the mornings and late in the afternoon, the reason we call it Neon is because it lightens everything up like a neon sign. Okay. That's yep. where it's got its name from. Yeah. But it's an incredible lens. Uh, again, really, uh, if it's really real overcast, dark, um, pouring rain, you would drive in those. Okay, yeah. Definitely yeah, so it just helps them brighten up like Absolutely, ambient around yeah. you. Absolutely, yeah, brightens everything up. Yeah. Again, you know, it's great. Fishing for flats, on the flats, uh, pick up rocks, reefs, sandbars, gutters. A lot of fly fishermen and guides in the fly fishing fraternity use those. Go okay. to Tasmania, New Zealand, they are ecstatic about that lens. Okay, yeah. Okay, so okay. what lens have we got here? Well, we've got the green mirror. The green mirror is, uh, it's a beautiful lens actually. It's uh, with, between the green and the blue, this is quite a, a different lens. It's got a little bit more depth and color saturation over the blue. Depends on the ambience that you really want to do. They're both very, very good lenses between the blue and the green mirror. But the green definitely has a little bit more depth and color saturation. So quite a good lens for, you know, out there on, on the bay, fishing, blue water and all that. The yep. good thing about that lens is it's got a four color integrated filter behind it. And it's a, a copper base, a bit of brown in it. And uh, so it's quite unique. And it's good for picking up the bird life in the distance, especially yep. when you're out in the salt fishing flat, on the flats and coming into the flats, fishing flats and out in the salt. Very good for picking up uh, the wind shifts and the currents in the water, especially yep. if you're a sailor. Quite a unique lens for that as well. Okay, yeah. Do we do the blue mirror? <laughs> yeah, so we've got the blue mirror. The blue mirror, again, is very similar to the green, as I just explained but it's a little bit different in the colours. It depends on the personal preference between the two colours. The, the wavelengths are, are, are very similar, but I still think that the green's got a little bit more depth than the blue, but people will prefer the blue as yep. a cosmetic look, but generally they're pretty close to each other. Okay. But a beautiful lens. Yep, so we'll on to the next one. Okay, now red. <laughs> so this is a red mirror. The red mirror has a uh, two color integrated filter, so brown and gray in the lens. So it's, it's very unique. I don't think there's anything on the market, to be honest with you, as good as that, as, as far as if you're out in the, out in the open ocean. Uh, it's got a huge amount of color saturation, depth, um, you know, great for squid fishing, de general pick up bird life. It's quite unique. It's probably one out of the box that lot, not a lot of people would look at, but wearing them is insane. They're incredible. People really do love them. You know, if you look at, I've got some of the, pick up the squid, the, where the squid changes so many colors, yeah. that integrates with the squid, no yeah. problems at all. So it's a beautiful lens to look through. Yeah, yeah. All right, so Doug, these sunglasses look great. They fit great. The lenses are awesome, but like, how durable are they? These are really durable, Brent. It's, it's, it's remarkable you ask that, but you know, if we get a, a set of keys, and we get them and we want to really scratch them. They are very durable, scratch yep. resistant. Yep. But if you put them in your car console, on your dashboard, they slide up and down your dashboard, in the console, your wife's handbag, girlfriend's handbag, um, you know, general use, you're not going to scratch them. Yep. Yep. Okay? But if you rub them up and down concrete, you'll definitely damage them. This is silica, so it's a concrete. But it's like a diamond, really. Yep. So a diamond will cut this. No yep. problems at all. But for general use, these will last you for many, many years. Yep. And you know, especially salt water. If you're out in the salt and the elements, yep. if you had a plastic lens and you clean them like that with a, a, your t-shirt or whatever, out in the salt and the elements, you the, the plastic lens will last a week. Yeah. These these just get better. Yeah. So yeah, it's, a, it's they're one of them products where you can just grab your shirt and give them a quick clean if you want Absolutely. to. You're not going to hurt it. You know, you can yep. clean these with acetone. Yeah. No problems at all. Yep. You couldn't clean a plastic lens with acetone. No, definitely not. It just yep. melts it straight away. And we do recommend not to clean your glasses. Not that it'll affect the glass lens, but never use isopropylene alcohol on a frame. Okay. Because you will destroy the frame. Yeah, yeah, just okay. the plastic makeup of it kind of thing. Yeah, but yep. the definitely the glass, 
indestructible as far as you know using chemicals on our glass lens. Yep. Not yep. a problem at all. No worries. Um, I guess the next big question is, you know, everyone's you know goes local servo. They've got sunglasses on a rack there. They're twenty yep. bucks. You know, like these are pretty expensive. What sets them apart from a pair of servo sunnies in that regard? Well, we go back to all what we've been talking about, the optics. The, the film inside this lens is, is like $80,000 a roll. The decentration or the decentered lenses, yep. the anti-reflective coatings on the back surface. Yep. You know, all these things. And, and you know, there's, you've got to understand there's four pieces of glass. So this is actually laminated. So you can see there, Brent? Yeah, yeah. It's actually laminated. So what happens is that we start off with a, a blank like that that's thick. We generate that lens. It's on a generator. So they have to be generated down. So. We generate the, the lenses down to two very fine wafers, film in the middle and put them together like that. And this is what gives us the polarizing filter. It's really important that it's stretched in the center. Uh, so it's giving us the best optical characteristics. So when you look through something like this, the clarity is overwhelming. If you look through a plastic lens, for instance, they call it aberration. So it's a fair bit of abbey value or aberration throughout the lens. So you never ever will get, you know, that clear clarity. It's like looking through fog. Yeah, right. Honestly, yep. you look through something like this, it's just crystal clear. Yep. We pride ourselves on, on, on the best optics and clarity on the marketplace today. Yep. You know, we spend a lot of money on technology and this is what we expect our customers to get a great set of sunglasses that yep. they can actually see perfectly as good as their eyes. You've only got one set of eyes. You know, these have got the UVA, UVB protected. You also cut all the glare when you look through them. These are incredible. So get yourself a pair of these and you'll see what you've been missing. All right, Doug, thanks for coming down here, mate, and running us through your range of sunglasses. If you want to grab yourself a pair, outbackequipment.com.au every day of the week. If you have any questions about these guys, hit us in the comments down below or call our customer service line. Uh, hit us with a like, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks, mate. It's a good motion. I like it. I like it. He's getting excited, I can tell. <laughs> The lens is getting extended, I'll tell you yeah. that. <laughs>